Aloha! Welcome to the Noeao Center. We have moved to a new online test proctoring format called TEST, which means Testing Envision Safe for Testers and Test Staff. We would like to highlight six steps for remote online proctoring. Step 1. Registering. First, register for your exam through the link below or by going to registerblast.com forward slash UH West Oahu. We are only proctoring a limited number of exams, so be sure to double check with your professor to determine how you are taking your exam. Step 2. Preparing a space to test. Next, you want to make sure your area is ready for testing. Some things to be mindful of are having a calm, quiet, and isolated area, proper lighting, and a table cleared of everything except your computer, smartphone, and ID. Please note, to ensure test security, the room you'll be testing in will be examined by the test proctor and all test appointments will be recorded. Step 3. Prep your tech. Feel free to pause the video to review the hardware requirements. An average working computer should be sufficient. Additionally, you may be asked to adjust system settings, so please ensure you have the ability to change security on your computer if asked. If you are planning to use a tablet or Chromebook to take your test, please search for an alternative option. During the test process, the proctor needs to gain remote control access of your device for password input. And devices such as tablets, smartphones, and Chromebooks do not allow for remote control access. Install the Zoom app on both your computer and smartphone. If you need assistance with navigating Zoom, feel free to stop by our virtual front desk at bit.ly forward slash center prior to your exam. We'll be happy to help you familiarize yourself with Zoom. Step four, checking in. Exam day, five to 10 minutes prior to your exam, join the Zoom meeting on your email to check in with our virtual front desk. Please have a photo ID ready to show. The Noel virtual front desk staff will confirm your ID and share the check-in link with you. You can find your registration by searching for your first and last name or your email. Then, the staff will have you connect your secondary device to join the Zoom. Do not connect the audio on the secondary device to prevent feedback. Once you are finished checking in, the staff will then put you in a testing room where you will meet your test proctor and test administrator. You will be asked to show your ID again to the test proctor. The proctored exam will be recorded to ensure the integrity of the proctor process and will help to eliminate incidents during testing. If there are no incidents, test surveillance will be deleted and removed permanently. In the event of an incident, the video will be emailed to the course instructor and the student code of conduct officer. Next, the proctor will instruct you to show your room via your secondary device, pointing out any doors, windows, and anything within arm's reach of your testing space. To ensure you will not be interrupted during your test, please silence your phone by turning on Do Not Disturb. As a final step, position your camera in a way that your full keyboard, head, and arms are visible. Please make sure your phone has enough battery for the length of your test or is secure and charging. The proctor will then instruct you to share your computer screen and check that you have no other programs running other than Zoom via your activity monitor or task manager. Once the check-in process is complete, you will launch your exam. The proctor will then request remote control access to input the exam password. Step five, take your test. As you begin your test, the proctor will mute their audio and video. During the exam, the proctor may interrupt if there are complications with view access or technology. The proctor can answer questions students may have about the proctoring process, but not about the exam itself. Step six, checking out. Once you have completed your exam, the proctor will review any scratch paper or notes that were approved for use during your exam. They will scan the task manager or activity monitor one more time and then they will send you a link to check out. Once you check out, you may complete our optional survey and log out. P.S. Don't forget to log out of your secondary device as well. Thank you for watching. Check out our website at westawahu.hawaii.edu forward slash center or feel free to reach out to uhwotest at hawaii.edu or call us at 808-689-2752 for any questions. Aloha!